Okay, this is chapter 3. Chapter 3. Today, <coughs> we will start that. Today, we will start that is. Investment and property. <clears throat> Last class we started at six. Chapter two. Well, we discussed that is how we can find out or can put the gross income of an individual from different sources, and then how the percentage of tax will be charged and what is the taxable income and tax liability in the way, right? In calculating the gross income, we divide total individual income in three different segments, other savings and dividend income. Today, we mostly look forward the investment income. That is here, we'll talk about savings income as well as Property income later. Okay. So, first of all, we will discuss the savings. Savings. Savings income. We have already discussed that is according to UK. In UK, there are two kinds of savings income. Normal. One is building society. building society and another is bank interest. Then in both the cases we discussed that is <coughs> net is provided to individual. 20% is started at source. That's why for tax purpose initially we need to find out the gross. That means we need to find out the 100%, not the net. That means we have to calculate the gross on which we will charge tax. That's why when you are providing net building interest from building society and bank the gross will be just like this one suppose x the net is provided into you need to find out 100 and x means 80 percent because 20 percent we discuss that is 20 percent is cutted okay. at source that's why from this formula you can find out the gross building income and gross income from the Bank, right? Then from this gross, you have to find different kinds of charges for income tax purpose. Okay. Okay. Then second option. Second phase. When you charge tax on different sources of the different kinds of income. Savings income will be regarded as the next slice than your other income. That means whatever the percent is 20%, 40%, 45%. We have discussed earlier, right? According to table. The savings income, when you charge percentage of tax on your income, the savings income will be the next slice of other income. That means initially you have to charge different kinds of income tax on your other income. <coughs> then you have to charge savings. savings income. That means savings income will be regarded as the next slice than the other income. Okay? Then another statement you need to know that is only for savings income there is a special rate brand. Special rate band, and that is up to five thousand dollar pound. Up to five thousand, there will be zero percent tax. Up to five thousand dollar, there will be no sort of income tax in the case of savings income. Now. We have to combine two different particles. One is savings is the next slice of other 
another is for only savings, there is a special dividend of 5,000. If you combine these two, then we can go for some example. Example one, example one, example one. Suppose, as for example, your other income and then savings income. Your other income is 1,000 and savings income 6,000. Now, how you can charge tax on your savings? Because there is a special rate when we have discussed already, right? 5,000. First of all, we have to recognize savings income is the next slice of the other income. So, first other income. For this 1,000, this is the bank up to 31,000, just like that's why for other income, initial tax will be 0.2%. 2%. Then other income is completed. Now savings. Savings. 5,000, there is a band of 5,000, right? So if you have to recognize as is the second or next slice, that means 1,000 is already completed. Okay. So for a special red brand, still you have 4,000, right? 1,000 here and 4,000. That means for 4,000, special red brand, 0% will be charged. Then remaining 2,000. This remaining 2,000 is still in the 31,000 band. That's why we are the remaining 10%. So this will be your total taxable amount, right? Okay, this is example one. Now example two. Suppose, example two. Suppose your other income. Other income is zero, right? No sort of other income is there, zero. But savings income is there. You have only 6,000 as a kind of savings income. So how we can charge tax on this? In this case, as there is no sort of other income, you can use the total special rate band for the things. That means for first 5,000, five, zero percent will be charged, no tax. But another 1,000, it is up to the 31,000 band. That means here your charge will be 20 percent. So this will provide you the total taxable amount, right? Then example three. Example three. Suppose your other income is 6,000. 6,000 and savings income is 6,000. Now what will be the way how you can charge the tax? Here, initially you have to calculate other income. For other income, this 6,000 is within the 31,000 band, right? That's why there will be a 20% tax. That means in the other income, you have already comprised the, you have already completed the 5,000 band, special red band. Where you have to recognize the as the second slice, right? That's why in the case of savings, the 5,000 band is over. So you can't have that amount. You can't have that tax benefit. That's why the 6,000 for the 6,000, you have to, because still this is within the 31,000 band, 20,000 will be charged. So these are the three different examples how you can charge tax on your savings. Clear? Okay. <coughs> then, so this is all about savings income, how you can charge tax on. Then investment income, dividend. Dividend income. We have already discussed that is in UK dividend income net net is provided ten percent is cut at source, right? So that's why for computing the tax for tax purpose you have to find out the gross. What should be the gross? Your gross income will be that is suppose X is provided that means X is your net. This net is one percent. 
90 percent. You need to find out the gross. That means you need to find out 100 percent. So it will provide you the gross income from the dividend. Then you can charge tax on this. Then the fact is for charging tax, dividend should be recognized the next price than the sales. That means first of all you have to charge tax or other income, then next slice means savings income, then next slice means other income. Right? Oh, sorry, sorry, dividend, sorry. Dividend income. Next slice is dividend income. So you have to charge tax on this consecutive way. Now the fact is the fact is <coughs> in the case of dividend income we said that is 10 percent is cut as source right 10 percent is cut as source but the thing is this 10 percent is a notional amount notional amount means this 10 percent is cut as source by the organization but organization never provide this payment to the HMRC board on behalf of the customer or on behalf of the dividend holder. Right? This 10 percent is cut at source, but it's a notional kind of cuts. That means this amount is never provided to the HMRC. That's why <coughs> the fact is, end of the day, now we have. tax liability suppose x from this tax liability you have to deduct less deduct three different components three different things one is number one that should be Savings at source. Number three, PAY pay. So when you deduct this amount, that means by charging different percentages of tax or on different income, you can find out the total tax liability. From this tax liability, you have to deduct three different components. Three different components. One is tax paid in source. And we have to do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We have to deduct three different components, right? One is tax paid in at source. Tax paid in at source. What tax? Tax for dividend purpose. The dividend should be deducted first. Tax paid in. This tax paid in for dividend purpose. Dividend should be deducted first. Then tax paid in for the savings. Savings should be deducted second. And then pay. You cannot deduct savings first. You have to deduct dividend pay. first. Then savings, then pay. Hi. You can say hi. Okay. Right. I hope the question is why we have to deduct the tax credit for the dividend first rather than savings. The question is this. Suppose as for example, 
Linder, Biscard, les acolytes, tout ça, avec ça. Ça pose, exemple 1. Exemple 1. Suppose your tax liability is 40 pounds, right? Tax credited, tax credited on savings is suppose as for example 60 pounds. 60 pounds. That means you have already provided more in your stores than your tax liability, right? So, $20 will be refunded by HMRC. When? In the case of tax aid in the savings. Then example 2. Example 2. Suppose your tax credit on dividend have sourced, suppose as for example, six. That means you have already provided more than the tax liability, but the fact is here no sort of amount will be provided or no sort of refund is there. Why? We have already said that is in the case of dividend income, 10% cut at source is the kind of notional cut. Notional means that is organization actually cut this at source, notional basis, but organization never provide this amount to the HMRC Bureau on behalf of the dividend holder. That means there should be no sort of refund. So how you can take benefit from this? That's why we have to deduct, suppose example three, example three, your tax <coughs> liability is under dollar, suppose. And <coughs> tax credited on savings is suppose 40 and tax credit on dividend is suppose suppose 7 yes for example so if you deduct this 40 first then you cannot have any benefit from this amount that's why you have to deduct this dividend first that means you have to deduct tax credit on dividend 70 first you have 30 amount is there then tax credit on savings 40 that means 10 dollar will be refunded clear that's why in the case of finding out the tax how much tax you have to provide or tax payable amount right tax payable amount you have to deduct dividend then savings then pay from the total tax level clear okay so this is all about Calculating. So if you go through the go for the gist, initially you are finding the taxable income, right? Taxable, taxable income, right? From the taxable income, <coughs> you are finding the tax liability. Liability. From the tax liability, you have to find the tax payable for the specific tax year, right? April to April. Sixth appeal of current year to fifth appeal of the following year. This is the way, right? So we have go through only the savings and savings numbers. Now. We will go through some examples from your books. Example here to help out. Suppose from your books, test your understanding one. Test your understanding one. Suppose Test one. Test your understanding one. See, Jamie received bank interest of two thousand during the tax year sixteen seventeen. Jamie is a person in sixteen seventeen tax year. He is receiving bank interest two 
thousand, right? Bank interest. Bank interest two thousand. As in this sentence, there is no sort of word about gross. That means this is net amount. Net means eighty percent. Eighty percent. So for tax purpose, for computing tax per tax, we need to find out gross of this, right? Then also, what I would say, calculate Jamie's income tax payable, assuming he also had employment income and pay deduction in tax year 16, 17 is 25,000. His other types of income, employment income is 25,000 and pay, pay is provided, what is, that is 2,800. 2800 so here the individual has bank interest 80 percent bank interest earning which is 2000 we need to find out the gross then his employment income is 25000 it is total right in the other income there is no sort of cartridge source then pay that you have to deduct play at the end that is 2800 now how you can find out the tax value see Calculate Jenny's tax computation. Tax computation for when? Tax computation of 1617. 1617. <coughs> right? Calculate total. Then other. And here we have savings. Savings income. How you can plot or how you can calculate this thing? First of all, other income. Other income, that means employment income, right? Employment income, what amount? Employment income is 25,000. This is 25,000. 25,000, that means your, up to this level, your other, other income is 25,000. You need to know the structure. Then, bank interest. Bank interest means savings, savings income, savings, savings income. How much? Okay. 2,000. There is no sort of was gross. That means we have to find out the gross. That 2,000 is 80% net provided, right? That means 2,000 by 80 into 100. What should be the amount? 2,000 and 500. 2,000 and 500. Okay, so now your total amount is total amount is five zero zero. Now this is your gross, right? This is your gross. Gross means so twenty-seven thousand five hundred. Seven thousand five hundred. Where your other income is two five zero zero. And savings income is 25. Right? So we have already we have already found out the gross income. From the gross income, we have to deduct relief first. In the second the first class we have discussed, that is relief. But there is no sort of relief provided. Right? After relief, each individual will be provided a personal allowance, kind of personal allowance. And this is the basic basic amount. That's why we need to find out the personal allowance according to this level. First of all, this is 10,600. So we have to deduct that. 10,600. I want to remind you that is this 10,600 to be deducted in a sequential basis. Initially from other, if remain, that from the savings, if remain, that from the dividend income, right? So here, 10,600 will be deducted from the 10,600. <coughs> what was it? Sixteen thousand nine hundred. It was a question. So fourteen thousand four hundred. Four hundred? 
and this is 2500. So this is taxable. Taxable income, right? Okay. Now, now from this taxable income, we have to find tax value. How we can find out this tax liability? There are two kinds of income. One is other income, another is savings income, right? Okay. So, from the other income, other income, we already discussed the table. There is there is a specific rate band, thirty-one thousand something, right? It will be provided in your example. So you need to know, you need to memorize that. So other income, this amount. 40,400 400 40,400 40, On this your tax third is 20% Next Still There are unused personal income present to 31,000 right So from the savings 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 is 2500, 2500. Still it should be 20% Right So this amount will be your tax Liability. We need to calculate that. So here the amount will be your tax liability. From the, this tax liability, you have to find out your tax payable. What amount? Initially, we have discussed already there that is there is no kinds of dividend income. There is savings and employment. In the case of savings income, 20% is cutter source, but we find out the gross. That's why here tax credit at source. Source savings at tax credit source got the savings got the chill out. They put show 2500. 2500 was gross. Within this, 20% was cutter source. So what should be the amount? Template for 500. 500 500 will be the first then pay then pay what amount of pay is there that is pay is 2800 so after deducting these two things one is tax paid on savings at source another is pay after deducting this, because this amount is already provided by this individual, right? That's why from the total liability, when you are deducting this amount, <coughs> it will provide you your tax payable for this period. Which period? 16, 17. It will be your tax payable. So this is the way how you have to find out the tax payable. Right? Okay. Then So there are some examples in your book, right? Example, example three, then example four. Now it is very much easier for you. Just go through that example, okay? And end of the day, there are some test also. Test also, right? Answer is also provided there. So you can easily go through this. If any problem arises, then ask me in the next class, okay? So in the next phase, we'll discuss about the property income. Okay, thank you.